A sinkhole near Monona Terrace could impact some weekend plans. The city says a brick storm sewer collapsed today, causing the large hole. It's located on the Olin Terrace walkway, which leads to Monona Terrace. Officials say the sinkhole developed over the weekend. Engineering crews are working with a contractor to fix the brick storm sewer pipe, which they say is likely over 100 years old. Wow. Officials say there will be a five-foot pathway around the sinkhole to get into the building and onto the terrace rooftop. They're going to replace all those tiles with people's names on them. Right now, three beaches in Madison remain closed because of blue-green algae blooms. And that's an improvement from this weekend, which saw several other beaches closed as well. Blue-green algae is certainly nothing new to area lakes, but this bloom happened earlier than we normally see. Dave Delosier joins us with more on what might be behind that. Dave? Yeah, Charlotte and Mark, you know, if you were down by the south end of Lake Mendota this weekend, you really couldn't miss the blue-green algae bloom. One description I heard painted a pretty good picture of it, saying it looked like a layer of toothpaste was covering the water. This was a pretty, pretty significant bloom. And one that would be hard to miss. On Friday, the blue-green algae bloom covered the south shore of Lake Mendota. It flowed through the Tenny Locks and down the Yahara River. For safety reasons, it forced the closure of several beaches. Yeah, the blue-green algae doesn't look good, but it's also not healthy. And so it's a, it's a bacteria, and it's a, it's a toxic bacteria. And so it's, not, it's, it's harmful to both pets and people. And if it gets in your eyes, your nose, or your, you know, your mouth while you're swimming, you can get very sick from it. Blue-green algae blooms happen when phosphorus gets into the water. While it isn't unusual to see blue-green algae show up in our lakes, it usually happens later in the summer. The three catalyst things that probably contributed to the algae bloom were uh, rain, heat, and a lack of wind. Heavy rains last week likely washed phosphorus into the lakes, but not necessarily from where you might think. Agricultural operations on the north end of Lake Mendota have stepped up efforts to keep phosphorus out. But from decaying leaves, plants, and other debris in the streets, it finds its way into the lakes. In the urban settings here, you know, the stormwater, anything you see in the streets is going to eventually end up in the lake. And so any sediment you see or any debris, that'll end up in the lake. And consider this, just one pound of phosphorus that gets into the water can create 500 pounds of algae. So keeping your leaves and other debris out of the storm sewers really can make a difference. And Mark and Charlotte, the three beaches that are still closed because of the blue-green algae are B.B. Clark, Ulbrich, and Esther. It's early for that, that's oh, for sure. It certainly is. Dave, thank you. you bet.